Hello Taurus, welcome to your May 2018 reading. I've pulled two oracle cards for you this month. The first is Trapped from the House of Night oracle deck. Now this card suggests that you've been feeling trapped in a prison of your own making. I relate this card to, if you're familiar with the tarot deck, I equate it to the Eight of Swords in that you're currently keeping yourself stuck in a kind of mental confusion about something that's happened in the past and you're not you're not allowing yourself the freedom to move on from this situation now from the angels deck i've pulled relationship and this card signifies that there are positive opportunities coming in in a current relationship so there's changes being made right now I feel with these cards I, I, I'm sensing a period of transition from this feeling of trapped to a more positive outcome in a current relationship which is fantastic news Taurus now let's see what's going on for you this month we have the Three of Swords as your overall theme. So it's to do with a heartbreak. Let's see what else I can pull out on that Three of Swords for you, Taurus. You've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this suggests to me that you are emerging from a difficult time and you are now doing what's necessary to repair the damage from this past heartbreak now in the past you have the three of cups in reverse so it appears that there's been some kind of overindulgence let's see what else i can pull out on the three of cups in reverse for you taurus A magician in reverse and the king of cups now I feel like this is you you're not the king of cups because you're an earth sign but I think you've been acting unlike yourself in that you've been acting from a very emotional place and you've been with the mag magician in reverse it's signifying that there's been some kind of trickery um, I feel manipulation in a matter and I think if the matter involves some kind of overindulgence in a perhaps a third party relationship I see betrayal here there's a lot of emotion involved and normally Taurus I think you're a person who thinks very logically and is very grounded but I think this past situation has had you be more like the king of cups in that you've been acted from in a, a very emotional place now presently you have the ace of wands so there is a new beginning let's see what else i can pull out for you on the ace of wands some kind of new passionate endeavor new creative opportunity new relationship you've got the nine of wands and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Now, it seems that you have an opportunity around you. You're now, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, it's signifying to me that you're letting go of some struggle. And I sense with the, the Nine of Wands, again, you've been through some kind of battle but you're standing your ground and you're not willing to give up because because this is a nine it means that you've almost achieved this ace of wands this new beginning you're not quite there yet but you're letting go of any kind of burden you've had in the past any anything that stressed you out anything that you have not been able to cope with you're letting it go and you are now standing your ground and moving on towards this new beginning this ace of wands 
So that's all really good news for you, Taurus. In the future, you have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> now, this could mean some kind of stealth, uh, cunning behavior. Let's see what else we've got. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. So it seems that there is, with the Three of Pentacles, it's about teamwork and also attaining, uh, using your skills to attain uh, financial security, teamwork, a partnership. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse suggests that You're using your, I feel the Seven of, seven of Swords in, in this case is not too bad. I, I, I sense that, I don't think you're doing anything sneaky here or manipulative because I feel that that's in the past. I feel that you're working now and you're wanting to work together with someone to achieve some kind of financial partnership or stability security I feel that I feel like you're you're having to be perhaps a little secretive about this is how I feel with that seven of swords that's that's the energy I'm picking up from it. it. It almost feels like you're you're not letting others know that you're doing this. Is how I feel. But you are working together with someone to achieve some kind of stability here. And you may be doing things to to achieve this that not everyone is aware of. So it's not too bad. For your Taurus there. In the advice and your best path to follow you have the nine of swords in reverse. So this is telling you to let go of anxiety, stop the worrying. Let's see what else I can pull out on for your advice. What else does Taurus need to do for May? The eight of pentacles in reverse and the two of wands. Okay. So this is letting me know that your best path to follow is to let go of whatever you cannot change, whatever has stressed you out, what, let go of anything that has left you with sleepless nights, worry, not being able to move on, let go of that. And the Eight of Pentacles suggests to me that you need to work on, it's, it's simply telling me that you, you need to make an effort to do this, to get yourself out of this anxiety, I feel. And with the two of wands, it's asking you to look ahead, start making plans for the future. So I feel with these three cards, it's about letting go of what's not serving you anymore, making an effort and making plans for the future, letting go of, of whatever hasn't worked for you in the past and has left you with this anxiety. Now in your environment, Taurus, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Now this is a card which suggests that you're you're making you're taking small steps and you're seeing you're seeing some gain. Now let's see what else I can pull out on this seven of pentacles for Taurus. Two of pentacles and the eight of swords. I feel this is how someone else is viewing you, Taurus. Someone important to you, someone whom you're thinking about. Or means a lot to you right now is seeing you 
trying to maintain a balance. They see you taking the steps. They see you making some gains. And I feel that the what you're trying to do is, is get out of this. Again, I have the Eight of Swords, which comes up here as trapped. This trapped feeling. I, I feel like you've... This heartbreak in the center has left you feeling very stuck, isolated, unable to move on. But the thing to remember with the Eight of Swords is, is it's a prison of your own making. It's an illusion. You have the ability to break free of this. Currently, though, someone is viewing you as trying to maintain a balance of seeing the gains you've made but yet you're still you're still feeling trapped but there is some progress here it's slow progress to get out of this trapped feeling and 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 get to this balance but i feel that it that it's someone is viewing you as slowly moving towards achieving this balance and getting out of this trapped state of mind now in your hopes and fears taurus you have the five of wands so there's some sort of conflict here some sort of battle or competition Let's see what else i can pull out on the five of wands for you taurus you have the page of pentacles and the Five of Swords in reverse. Now with these Taurus, it seems that I feel that there's been some kind of conflict and you're hoping, I feel that this is a hope, with this Five of Swords in reverse, I feel that you're hoping to make amends you are hoping to repair the damage that I think this conflict has caused with someone. And it involves some kind of new start, new, new, new practical start. I feel that that's what you want. But there's some sort of regret here of a conflict in the past. And you're now wanting to make amends and repair the damage from that conflict. Now, in your outcome, Taurus, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. Now, what else can we find out for Taurus? You have the King of Swords, the Fool in reverse, and the Death card in reverse. So as your outcome here, Taurus, it seems that I feel a lot of struggle here. And that's evident with this trapped card as, the, as your oracle, this feeling that you're stuck. And with the eight of swords here as how someone else is viewing you as well. And with the nine of swords here, you're wanting to get out of this, this mental anguish that's right in the center here, that there's some kind of heartbreak that you're trying to heal from. And I feel what, what you're going to do to get yourself out of this is you're having trouble moving on from the past because we have the Six of Cups in reverse. I feel that that is you not being able to move on from the past you have the King of Swords here, which I don't feel is you. We have, I'll explain this in a moment, and the Fool in reverse. And Death in reverse. Now these, both of these cards feel to me that you're not able to move on. If the Fool was in the upright, I would say you're ready to take, take steps, you're... You're ready to embark on a new journey. But because you're, the fool is in the reverse, I think you're still stuck here. And, and also with death 
in reverse it's also an inability to move on an inability to let thing let go of anything that has not served you you seem to still be trapped in this past heartbreak situation but the way that you're going to get out of this and I feel that you are going to get out of this Taurus is I think this king of swords could be some kind of person that you're going to seek advice from an authority figure could be a doctor could be a lawyer could be a therapist a mentor someone who you seek advice from and I feel this is how you're going to get out of this situation where you're feeling trapped and this is going to allow you to move on to this positive change in your current relationship I feel that you've kept yourself stuck for too long I feel in this heartbreak situation involving some kind of trickery that's happened in the past now this may not be you doing the trickery this this may have been someone else that you were involved with that was that was tricking you and you came into it very confident and very emotional you, you, your emotions were there but you came across someone who was not being truthful with you they were being quite manipulative and it involved a third party presently you have a new beginning around you I feel that this is an, another relationship not this one there's been conflict and battles in the past regarding this new beginning but you are putting down the burdens now and you're wanting to keep up a struggle here you're, you're wanting to keep fighting you're letting go of a burden you're wanting to keep fighting for this new beginning and in the future here I see that you have financial stability around you you're trying to achieve this you may be being somewhat secretive about this or stealthy your best path to follow is getting yourself out of this anxiety and worry by letting go of this past heartbreak making the effort with this new beginning here and looking towards the future instead of the past you're wanting to repair the damage from this battle in the past and I see the outcome here as you seeking help seeking guidance from this king of swords so that you can release something from the past that's kept you stuck here and this is going to lead to a positive outcome in your current relationship and positive changes so I'm going to leave that there Taurus hello everyone it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights I'm so excited to launch this new channel I'm an intuitive reader I receive the energies from the cards as I read them I'm here to provide guidance through tarot and I hope that you enjoy the readings my general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone please check your Sun moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you and remember the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa these general readings are provided free of charge so if you are enjoying my readings please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address gypsyinsights at gmail.com I look forward to reading for you personally please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading I'm offering low introductory rates if you would like an answer to one question I offer a 15 minute video I also offer a 30 minute video if you have two to three questions and an in-depth video of 45 to 60 minutes these videos are delivered to you via YouTube for you personally please like share and subscribe I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis thanks again for watching I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon